Hello, I'm Chrissy with Green Living Offgrid.com, and I'm out here in my greenhouse in the hydroponics section of my greenhouse where I am growing my tomatoes. I have some cherry husky tomatoes here, and these dark orange ones are sun sugars. They will not get any darker than this, um, they'll stay orange. And if you have any kind of acid problem with your stomach or you can't handle high acid foods, I highly recommend that you try growing some sun sugars because they're very sweet and they're low acidic uh, tomatoes, one of the lowest acidic tomatoes you can get. So they're very good uh, substitute for some of the more higher acid ones that most of us are used to purchasing in the store. These, But both of them are really good. I really like growing both of these varieties here in the greenhouse. And one of the things I want to talk to you about is why I like to grow tomatoes. Not only do you find tomatoes very handy for just about any meal that you can throw them in, uh, salads, you can make tomato sugar desserts, just put a little sugar on them, and uh, that makes a really nice little delicious dessert that's healthy. You can also use tomatoes, of course, to make tomato soup or tomato paste for pizzas, or you can put tomatoes in many different kinds of tomato-based dishes. So obviously, uh, tomatoes are a really nice plant to grow in your garden. And if you live in a hot, dry area, tomatoes are really good to grow outside uh, in a regular organic soil system. But here at 7,500 feet up at this elevation, we are also on a mountain ridge and it's very difficult to grow tomatoes outside here because we get 50 degree nights and it just is so cold that they just don't produce real well. I have had some success with them outside if I could put them in a more enclosed area where they can receive the afternoon sun but not get so much of the winds and and the cold at night like a patio situation they'll do all right but I chose to put, grow them in the greenhouse because I've had nothing but but uh, better success with them being sheltered in the greenhouse and also having the nutrients from the aquaponics the fish and plant system that I have here in the greenhouse. I use aquaponic water and some hydroponic nutrients that I add to the bins. Once a month, I'll, once a month I will add the hydroponic nutrients and then the aquaponics, I add that water every single week. And these plants go through a gallon of water a day. Tomatoes need a lot of water, a lot of moisture to do well. And if you can look at some of my pictures, you can see how my dirt beds perform versus how my aquaponics system performs. My aquaponics, uh, as you can see, the aquaponic tomatoes here are way more uh, lush, they're darker green, they just produce so much better than when I had the dirt beds in here. And I had a hard time keeping the moisture levels right with the dirt beds because they were drying out constantly. I'd be out watering every night and trying to keep that moisture level up and it took so much time. And even then, as you can see in the pictures, the plants were pretty straggly and just didn't produce real well, um, even with, the, with all the watering that I tried to give it in the soil-based gardens. And I had trouble getting the right nutrient mixture uh, for those tomatoes. So here, with aquaponics and then supplementing with a hydroponic formula once a month is just enough to provide the nutrients they need to grow really well. And then at about a month out from where I'm going to harvest the tomatoes, I'll cut back on those nutrients. And as you can see here, I'm starting to get a little bit of browning on the leaves because I'm going to be, I've been cutting the nutrients and I'm going to be harvesting these guys. We're getting towards the end of the season. It's getting colder at night. In about two to three weeks, I'm going to need to take these plants out to winterize the system. So I'm cutting the nutrients on them other than the aquaponics that they still get every every week or so. I'll put some aquaponic water in. But uh, anyway, the plants are doing really well. And now I want to talk about the nutrition benefit of tomatoes. I'm going to read an article found on Healthline.com. It's called Tomatoes 101 Nutrition Facts and Health Benefits. Alright, so this article says tomatoes are the major dietary source of the antioxidant lycopene which has been linked to many health benefits including reduced risk of heart disease and cancer.
They are also a great source of vitamin C, potassium, folate, and vitamin K. They say fresh tomatoes are low in carbs. The carb content consists mainly of simple sugars and insoluble fibers. These fruits are mostly made up of water. So when you look at the fiber content in relation to the carb content with glucose and fructose that makes up your structure of the tomato, it, it actually is a very healthy composition. One of the vitamins found in tomatoes is vitamin C. This vitamin is an essential nutrient and an antioxidant. Potassium is another vitamin found in tomatoes. It's an essential mineral and is beneficial for blood pressure control and heart disease prevention. Vitamin K1 found in tomatoes is important for blood clotting and bone health. And the other vitamin found in tomatoes is folate or vitamin B9. That is important for normal tissue growth and cell function and it's particularly important for pregnant women. Now this article goes on to describe a few other plant components that are found in tomatoes that are beneficial for health. One is lycopene, that is the red pigment and it's also an antioxidant and it has been studied extensively for its beneficial health effects. You also have beta carotene, which is an antioxidant that gives food their yellow and orange hue. Beta carotene is converted into vitamin A in your body. Neurogenin, which is found in tomato skin, this flavonoid has been shown to decrease inflammation and protect against various diseases in mice. And then we have chlorogenic acid, a powerful antioxidant compound. Chlorogenic acid may lower blood pressure in people with elevated levels. So as you can see, tomatoes are beneficial to your health in a number of ways. They help with cancer prevention through the antioxidants that are in them. They also help protect your heart and your blood vessels. And the lycopene in the tomatoes can even protect your skin against sunburn.